In this video, we're going to learn how to do these match cuts like by maximize. Now it's a very simple rule of thumb. There is a reason why this specific edit got around 20 million views and 2 million likes. To be frank, it's very simple. And with its simplicity, it maintains the retention, resonates with the audience. So that is the reason why I'm covering such a small concept like match cut to display its importance. So enough chit chat. With that being said, I think we're ready to dive into After Effects. So the main point of this video is that you guys can learn how I do these match cuts. Now, when it comes to things like asset collection and etc., there are a couple of ways to do it. Now, the assets, I have it ready, but I'm just gonna cover it quickly for you guys on how to find the best assets in two minutes. So I'm just gonna open this edit from Maximize and let's see this. You can see over here, we have eyes image, that we have world images, and it's very easy. It's way simpler than you think. I'm just gonna open Pinterest and over here, I'm gonna write planet images dark, and here already I have a few examples and they look so good, bro. For example, this. So let's go on this one and see what we find. Nice. Here we have moon. We have this planet, whatever the its name is. And all of them is in black. Over here as well, a lot of examples. But all of these are moon. We have a lot of examples over here as well. So all you need to do is literally download and do the process like how I'm going to cover in this video. You can do it with any image that you want. And then for example let me just go continue the video over here we have even these eyes so if i write for example it's all about prompting so i'm gonna write one eye image close one eye image close illustration or black and white for example and i search this up i want the most similar example so that i can keep finding all similar results to it so i wrote one eye image close black and white art let's see what we find we have a couple of examples. We have this one, for example. We have this one. And you can see we have tons of other images over here. And they're crazy good, bro. Now that is one way. Another way is by using Mid Journey, which is so easy. Again, all you need to know is prompting. So I have Mid Journey open. Why did I go over Pinterest first? Because it's easier. But you can just skip this part if you already found the examples you want on Pinterest. So I'm gonna just write drawing of one eye image made with pencil on paper for example or illustration high in detail and gray tones white background obviously before you send it you have to do the prompt slash imagine and now i will send it and let's see what results we get and as you guys can see over here it's very close and it's super similar so if i choose the best one of them for example the third one i like it i can just do v3 and it will generate me way more versions so as you guys saw, just in two minutes, I covered two different ways to find the perfect images. Now for the earth one, it's way too easy, but for the eye one, it's a bit more challenging, which is why I did the eye one. For the earth, you can just like literally write up images of the planet with a black background and maybe stars and you will find. But anyways, I would still suggest you guys to use Pinterest as that is free and unpaid and way easier. But if you guys do want to use Mid Journey or have a subscription, then why not? So in our case, based on the edit that we will do, we need different or five different frames only of the word yourself and it's very easy whether it is on pinterest or mid journey so i'm just gonna do it very quickly in front of you guys get the images and then import it into after effects and we get into the main part of the tutorial which is the match cut itself and it's so easy so as you guys can see here are a bunch of results obviously there are mistakes for example over here it says you yourself after all it is ai but the results are again outstanding. Some parts are not the best. This one, for example, it doesn't resonate too much with what I want, but as you guys can understand the base of it, it's very simple, it's just prompting. Don't stress it out so much, you have Pinterest. And yeah, with that being said, let's dive in to After Effects. By the way, all of these assets will be in the description below. Now, the first thing we're gonna do in After Effects is <clears throat> literally just create a composition and I'll name it Match Cut Comp, okay? And the resolution is going to be TikTok resolution, so 1080 by 1920, which is 9 by 16. Let's make the frame rate 24 FPS and the duration like 10 seconds. If you just write up 1000 over here, it will become 10 seconds. And once you do that, this is what you're going to have. So what I'm going to do is literally just undock my panel. And once I undock my panel, you can see if I drag my arrow up here, I can drag it to the right where it says but it's like green once i do that now i have my preview on the right side so in this way you can view it vertically and it gives you a much bigger view than right over here then we can just adjust everything over here 
just so it is clean and organized and dock this and i'll put it here as well now the first thing i'm gonna do is literally just drag all my images so i'm gonna make a folder named images and drag all of them make sure all of your images look or have the same type of element and then you basically can optimize between them so we have like this pink which is kind of shit now we have these other pieces like this one this one this one this one this one and yeah you can see this one might not work but anyways now what i'm gonna do is literally just drag all of it here now look i'm just gonna open one of the images and let's say i will have it like this this zoomed in right this is kind of too much let's say this much and what i'll do is i'll make like a scale so i'm gonna do Control r on my keyboard and once i do Control r you can see we have these so i'm just gonna make like a section where we have to put all of it within like this guideline so this is gonna serve as a guideline which is very important so let's say the yourself text should be this much and then i will rotate it just so that it is fit i can drag it on here don't worry about the surrounding just focus on this so now i'll turn this off and i'll turn this on and we'll do the same for this one and we rotate it and i have it here so you can see it's kind of within the same guideline this one is a <clears throat> we'll do the final tweakings later so we have this now let me turn on this you also have to choose images where you can pretty much like have the text and even have enough space because see this one does not have enough space right now so i cannot use this so that is kind of, kind of unusable let's see for this one yep i can zoom this in a lot and i can fit it let me close this let's do this one pretty much i'm just sizing everything so that it is in the middle of this box now this is a very slight rotation so i will not i will not uh really rotate it close this open this one this is a very unique image i love this and it's also like perfect in sizing wise nice you can see now this is also in here let me open up the last one the last one let me zoom this in see this is too rotated so i'm rotating it to be properly rotated and nice so now if i turn on each one of them look all of them are in the exact same placement which is exactly what we want i'm literally just going between these and you can already see it's perfect i will just get a few more images just so we can switch out between what's good and what's not so now i'm back with a few more versions we have this we have this this and this by the way all of it is going to be in the description below so now let me add this Boom yourself let me rotate this a bit fit it within the box and uh, boom nice let me add this one this is good it is kind of leaving the margins but if i fix the rotation it won't now let me add one last one because i think we have too much over here on the plate this is good anyways now what i want to do is i'm just gonna filter out what i don't think is good i feel like this one is fine this one is fine this one is fine i like this actually this one is very good this one ah uh, i think i'll remove it looks goofy this one is decent nice very good i'm not sure about this one it has a good handwriting and the rest of them are decent i might remove i might remove the last one actually so now i have them all here now let's get the process started before we take too long so there is gonna be an image every two frames in my opinion so I'm gonna cut all of this and I'll literally go one frame from here by doing page down. As you guys can see on my screenshot on my keyboard shortcut, I'll go one frame and I'll do alt and left square bracket. Now all of them are literally one frame. If I zoom in on my timeline, all of them are one frame. And what I'll do is I'll select all of these and then I will go to sequence layers. Make sure there is no overlap and I'll see what we have. If I play this, amazing wow now obviously this cannot go on forever but anyways so i will literally do Control shift c which is pre-compose and say yourself all and then i'll duplicate this a couple of times boom boom boom, boom. so now see how many times it plays this is too much actually we're playing too much over here but i think we can definitely frame out between different frames because right now it's like too repeated right you can literally see that it's repeated but anyways here's what we have you can see all of them are within the margins and what i will do is i'll pre-compose all of this now 
and I'll do yourself. I'll just write it yourself all. And then I'm gonna have this like scale in by you can say 10, 110. Scale in the starting, make it 100. And then scale in the end, make it 110. By if you just press S, you can find your scale. So see, now it's zooming in and it looks very clean. Amazing, amazing, perfect. And now what I'll do is I'll add like kind of a frame. You can see over here, some stuff is cutting out. Over here, some stuff is cutting out. So how do we fix this? Actually very simple. This was done in the original edit, which is why I'm doing it as well. I will make, I'll go to my shape layer and I'll go to rounded rectangle tool. So just hold this, go to rounded rectangle tool. Make the fill solid and go make it like any color. It doesn't matter white, make sure the stroke is zero. And now what I'll do is I'll just do something like this. Okay, try to place it in the middle and then just put the anchor point in the middle and align it once you do align go inside the rectangle go to rectangle path and literally over here you'll see roundness so we just want to increase the roundness so it's like something like this and i want to decrease the size a little bit and then i can just track math so there is one way you can track math which is if you are on after effects 2024 you can literally just find this tool if you don't see it toggle the first toggle the second blue color so you can see it says transfer control panels and if you still don't see it then go to columns and find track math from here wherever it is it is mods it's called as mods so yeah now if i just take this whip tool and i drag it to the shape layer see what happens the whole edit goes inside the shape layer and this is how it is and now if i play it you can see this is pretty much what we have what we need to do right now is kind of set the ambience for it so if i go if I do Control Alt Y, and I take this below, and I add like a CC vignette, CC vignette type of thing, and over here, I can like literally just darken it a bit. So we can focus on the word. I will make the angle of view high, and I'll decrease the CC vignette itself. So now you can see each part is glowing, and this part, for example, is not perfect. So if I go inside and I select on this tool, I can take this down and just scale this down a bit because it's not perfect and it's too big so it's just a matter of adjustment look this part is also a bit bigger i can just increase this in scale so let's see how it is now it's much better we don't see the significance difference in it going up so it's all different environments and the same text with different font and then over at this part just after this the rest of the edit basically had focus on yourself like the transition which is very easy so after we have this part we just want to add like an overhead type footage which i'm gonna take from daniel talon honestly i don't have any overhead footage to use from anywhere else so big credits to daniel himself daniel talon so here i have the footage as you guys can see i can track map this to the shape layer as well just so that i can zoom in and it would fit so yeah this part is kind of what we need we also needed to have like the ambience darkness let me remove the audio just fixing the positioning kind of yep fire okay i can just make the video end over here and then at this part i will just make a text that says focus on focus yourself i have it in the middle align everything in the middle zoom this down so that it fits let me remove these scales we don't need them anymore it's just like kind of a distraction now make sure that it's the same and then at this part if i go to mode okay in case you don't see mode just click over on the second toggle blue and you'll find mod and then i'll just make it difference and you can see this is what we have it will just pan over for each footage but yep fire so now let me play the complete edit So yeah, very, very simple edit. Now we're gonna do one last part, which is you can say a sound design, because we don't want like something too boring or just for it to be like that. Let's get a, like the final version of the video. So I'm gonna put my headphones on. So now I added the audio. I'm just gonna try to sync the audio for its correct place. Okay, perfect. So I'm just, I just trimmed this down here, like as a one frame, just so we can sync it exactly. I did it from here. Okay, I just, took out the audio and cut it exactly at this part so now i'll take this one frame and let me drag it to the exact part where it goes to the overhead footage and i'll extend this out and i'll extend this here so let's play this Look at my eyes, tell me you're 
Nice. So you can see there is a sink over here. I'm just gonna switch him. So he's here. Let's play this. And now we're at this point. I'll like bring this back. So we kind of have something synced. Perfect. Now we gotta add like the sound shutter kind of sound effect. So I have this one camera shutter, which is which is I call Iman Gazi type shutter. And I'm gonna use another one. So for example, this one. Okay. And now let me play the first shutter, for example, at the starting part. So I'm gonna press double L over here. So when this comes, I'm gonna have it. Eh, we need something faster to be honest. If I just right click on my thing, we have a couple of clicks. Let's see what this sounds like. Let me just mute the other audios and so let me see what this sounds like. Now that, that is not really very suitable. I think what would be suitable is this. Yeah, that's good. So let me just play this. Nice. And over here, I will like bring up the last shutter, which is Iman type shutter. I'll make it like synced at the very end. And then I will duplicate this exact same for it to be on each angle switch. So I'm just duplicating this. You can see over here also there is an angle switch which is from the raw audio itself. So I'm just like pressing double L. Come over here. There is another switch as you guys can see. So I will duplicate this by doing control D and then dragging this. So now let me play this. There is a bit of uh, something wrong that happened. Maybe not the best sound effect. But yeah, this is what we have as you guys can hear. There is one that I missed which is over here. Let me duplicate this. Nice. Now let's play it and hear the last audio of the version. Boom, 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 boom. Nice, that's good, that's good. And then I will, what I will do is I'll take all of this, I'll pre-compose all of this by doing Control shift c and add an effect called reverb. Reverb. So you can already see the difference if I increase the decay. Perfect. Now I'll decrease the sound by like minus 10. And now I'll put the My Eyes music I'll decrease this by minus 10 as well. So let's hear what it sounds like. Perfect, that's amazing. That's all for the edit. There, there was nothing much complex in this edit. The whole point is just a match cut and how you can match all of this. So yeah, that was it for the edit. The complete project file will be in the description below. So with that being said, I'll see you guys on the inside. Peace out.